Uh, welcome everybody, this is Mr. Ndabezita once again and we are still continuing with exception handling but this time we will look at handling exception thrown from outside methods all right so uh we will just have a brief theory of what is really happening here they say an advantage of using object-oriented exception handling techniques is the ability to deal with exceptions uh, appropriately as you decide how to handle them when methods from other classes throw exceptions the methods do not have to catch them instead your calling program can catch them and you can decide what to do this is one of the advantages of using the uh, object oriented uh, exception handling methods okay that is fine that was just a, a theory of what is happening and then when you design classes containing methods that have statements that might throw exceptions you most frequently should create the method so they throw the exception but do not handle it handling an exception should be left to the client the program that uses your class so the exception can be handled in an appropriate way for the application and this is exactly what we will try uh, to look at right uh, how are we going to do that right the first thing that we will do very important we will uh, create a main this is a console application and we will just call uh, this uh, exception from uh, outside class and i'll save this inside of the c sharp tutorial and uh, i will just immediately create that right the first thing that we will do uh, we are going to create a class uh, that we will call the price list and then we will populate this class with whatever that needs to be populated with and then from there we will see exactly what we are trying to learn from this lecture all right uh, let me just have uh, a namespace very quickly which i will call x uh, i will have a class which i will call p and i will have a, a static void main and i'll have string of array uh, argument and everything should be fine okay so we know this is end main and so on right and what i'm going to do is to add a new item and this item will be a class and i will call this class the price list so i will just call this price list very important and then we will add that class and then what is it that this class is going to do first of all we will have uh, a private static and this will be a double and what is this this will be an array and i will call this the price and then this will be equals to uh, 15 point nine nine and then i will have my comma twenty seven uh point eight eight i'll have my comma uh, thirty four point five six comma and forty five point eight nine and these are the values that i have inside of my array i'm not yet done i'll have a public um static and this will be void and i will call this display price display
display price and it will save to one argument accept uh, an item which i will call uh, an item right and then uh, i'll just have a right line a console dot uh, right line i will just have a right line sorry and in this right line i'll just say the price is and i'm going to use a uh, concatenation there okay i can just say okay uh, the price is and then i can say it the price at a specific uh, index right this is just one thing that i can say i'm just saying the price is and then i'm just using concatenation and then it will go into the array uh list and then it will uh display the price of whatever item maybe we can say item number one number two number three number four number five and so on but i know this is zero one two three so out anything that is outside the boundary of this array when i call this method you enter a number that is outside this boundary i know there will be an exception that is thrown this is the aim of this lecture all right that is fine and then once i have this class i can just go to the main by just trying to copy this namespace copy this and then i will paste that namespace uh, inside of that let me just do this enter and then you just say using and then you paste i papa fanzo i makeba right now that we are fine now again let's come here this is private static double private static double and then this is my array and then that is that and then when i am inside of this main the first thing i will do i will declare an int which i will call the item and then i will have a try and then in this try i'm going to have a write statement console.write and in this write statement what i'm going to say i'm going to say enter an item number and the user will enter that uh, item number let me just have some colons and some space all right uh, i know that the item will be equals to convert dot to int 32 and then i will just read uh, what the user enters uh, i'll just have a read line and then i'll have a console dot read line all right it is a method that accepts no parameter okay that is fine and then the user will enter in a number very good and then when the user enters in a number i will take that number convert and save it inside there and then i will invoke the method which is price list why because it is a static please be be careful it is a static double sorry uh, it's a public static void display so this method it's uh it's a public so i will say uh, price list which is what now now please check i am accessing this method via uh this class so when i say price and then i press the dot i will have display uh, price there it is and then i know it accepts one argument which is of an int and then what am i going to send there 
I'm going to send an item. This is exactly what I'm going to send. So this is what I have inside of my try. I know that this statement might throw in an error. Let's go here. I have a class which I call the price list. Okay, that's fine. I have imported this namespace so I can be able to access this class. And then remember, because this method is a static method, I can access that method via the class name. I don't have to create an object of this because this is a static method. Right, public static void display price and then int item. And then when I invoke this method, I will have a console dot right line, the price is, and then I will go to the array and then I will want the price at a specific uh location at a specific uh index at a specific index in the boundary of the array now when i go here i i declare an item int why am i doing that i have a try remember i will prompt the user to enter a number i did not prompt for anything here Please be careful, I did not prompt for anything. So what is only happening here, I have a public static void display price which accept one argument of type int. And then all I'm doing, I'm saying just the price is and then I'm going to the array price and then I am looking for the price at a specific uh, index. Right, so when I am here, when I am here, I have to prompt for the user to enter in a number, store that number where inside of the item. And then I now invoke the method price list because it is a static method via the name of the class dot and then I have a display price here it is. And because this method is public, it accepts one argument and then what am I sending? I'm sending this value that the, looter, the, the, the user will punch in. What is going to happen? It will go into this class. It will take that item. It will now do what now? It will say the price is and then it will go into the price and check whether the number that the user has specified is it found within the boundary of, of the array. All right, that is fine. And then remember immediately when you have a try, you need to have a catch. And then in the catch, we need to think what kind of an exception might be thrown here. It might be an exception of that type, which is index out of a range array. So this will be the index out of range exception. And then I will just use a letter E for that. Any letter is acceptable. You can use a P, a T, whatever that you want. And then inside of that, I will just have uh, e dot message plus I want to add something there and then I just want to say uh, the price is uh, zero rent. This will be the price. So I know the e dot message. I know it will bring in a very specific. Uh, a, a, a message of exception that where the error has occurred this one will be very very specific but if i don't want to use that one if i don't want to use that one i can say dot and then i can use this one dot to string and then this one will tell me exactly where the error might have occurred in which line or whatever and so on so this one gives a more detailed clear description of where the error has transpired whereas this one will just tell you uh when i say message this one will just uh you know just give you a brief just a straightforward answer as to what has really transpired so let us try to check our 
application and see whether things are happening the way in which we want so control f5 and then we just wait for it to compile now enter an item number so for example let me enter the number two i know this is within the boundary of the array and then the price is 34 and 56 let's just go and 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 just verify that let me just do this and then we can go to the price list and i can see that i have zero one zero one two and the price of item number two it's 34 and 56 very important i can run this again uh, i can run that for the second time control f5 and i can enter number three and the price it's uh 45 rand 89 very good and then what i can do here uh i can just say dot uh to string and then just bring me that with some currency symbol attached to that can also add that and then when i for example enter three it will just say uh 45 run 89 dollars because the default uh currency sign for this it's a, a dollar sign and then now i want to purposely uh cause an error now i will press four i know i don't have uh the index at position four so when i press enter index was outside the bounds of the array the price is zero zero so the error occurred and it was handled and it was never handled inside of the class where it occurred we catch this exception in the main so this is one advantage of using object oriented uh, programming because we read about this let me read it once again for you an advantage of using object-oriented exception handling techniques is the ability to deal with exceptions appropriately as you decide how to handle them. When methods from other classes throw exceptions, just as we have saw in this one, the methods do not have to catch them. That's exactly what we did. The method did not catch the error. Instead, your calling program can catch them and you can decide what to do this is exactly what you we did our calling method in here catch the, the error and then we decided what to do with that this is these are one of the uh, uh advantages of using object oriented exception uh, handling methods all right uh, that is fine uh, we have seen what is happening there uh, there was nothing mysterious about that so for example if we don't want to say message here as i have said and as we did uh, we can just say dot to string and then we know that this will override the dot to string and print whatever that needs to be to be printed we dealt with that in the last tutorial i explained exactly what the to string uh, really does so i i am going to purposely cause an error and this one gives a detailed clear description of what is happening system dot index out of range exception that is correct index was outside the boundary of the array okay but it gives us even more and more information and then as we read here line 13 the price is 0.00, .00 program.cs where is program.cs here it is program.cs line 13 the price is this so in line 13 here you see so when 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 it tried to accept the value and verify the value in here 
it never found that so what it's simply saying is that the number the item number you have inserted is outside the boundary of the array this is programming language you need to understand this language in this manner very very uh, important you even can see the line where the error might have occurred all right uh, be that as it may uh, i am i am happy with what we have been doing no problem with that now uh let us try to create another class let us try to create another class new item and we are going to call this uh, price list uh, two and I'm going to add that right that is fine let me just say end class and let's just end the name space all right now inside of this class price list two uh, I'm going to declare some few things uh, I am going to declare some few things. Okay, but uh, we didn't even have to create a class. Let me not create a class that I may confuse you. Uh, even this one. Okay, let me leave this one the way it is. Let me just get rid of all this. Yeah, let's just work inside of this one. And main. Uh, and class and name space all right uh, inside of this main uh, let us just declare some few variables uh, i will have the first one int which is an item and i will give it a value of zero and i will have a boolean which is uh, is a good item and i will just say for now it's false and i will say now using a while loop i will say uh, while is good i want to do the following now remember this is what we call not while not is good item now is good item is currently false so when i do the exclamation mark i'm saying while is not good item is true i am negating this so if this is false i'm making it true here this is the symbol of not not is good item so because is good item is false i am saying while it is true here this is exactly what i'm saying while it is true let me just end my why i want to have a try and in this try i want to have a write statement i want to have a console dot right and what is it that i want to write i want to say enter a number enter a number right and the user will enter that number and then i will just say item is equals to convert dot to int 32 and then i will just say uh, console dot read line right uh, that is fine and then i'm saying is good then i'm saying let it be true once the user has entered a number and the number is stored inside of the item because is good is false i'm making it true here and remember i said oh it will only go inside of the while it will only do this while is good is true but currently is good 
is false but while it is true it will go inside here all right that is fine that is my try i can have a catch and then what is it that i am catching there it's an index out of range exception i can just use the letter e and then what is it that i want to do there i just want to have a console dot uh, right line and all i want to say is just that you must you must enter a number uh, less and then less uh, than four this is the message that i want to print out and then i will have a console dot uh, right line again that will say please re-enter re-enter uh, item number very good and then when i exit the while loop i just want to have a console dot uh, right line and i just want to say uh, thank you this is exactly what i want to do now it is very important that we understand what is going to transpire here i have an int item and the number is zero currently bool is good item is false all right so i'm i'm when this exclamation mark is what we call not so is good is currently false so when you say not you are saying is good is true so while is good is true it will come here and it will execute this so if it is not true it will just go there and say thank you this is very very important that we understand that right let me run this code enter a number suppose i enter a number five and then it just says thank you why is it saying that it is because i negated is good it is false and when you say is good and then you have that exclamation mark you are saying is good is true so while this is false it will not enter inside of here it will not enter inside of there so right that is fine let me run the program once again and let me enter a number 12 and then it just says thank you and nothing is uh, uh, is happening so i want to enter inside there let me make uh is good uh, okay this is false while it is true so when i say is good item equals false when i say not then for i mean that is good is true so let me just come here and say true and check what is going to happen and then you see it just says thank you because what should happen there is good item is true here and you are negating is true and then you are saying when it is false and then it will not enter here hence we are saying here uh, this is a false very very important so we should be able to enter inside there based on this we should be able to enter because when i enter a number it should be able to enter inside there but it is not entering uh it is not entering so let me just remove this not and let me just run the code 
and then it just says thank you you see so we are having a problem because we are saying while is good item while this is false then it should keep on executing that but when we try to do things in that manner and uh, nothing seems to be working for us and we know that initially uh, is good uh, is false so why is it happening like this while is good so we are saying while it is false do this but it doesn't do what we want and then let's just make this a true and check control f5 enter a number i enter 12 and then it says again enter a number and then i enter a number for example i will enter uh 45 you see there's a problem in our program let's go and check where this problem might have okay now we said enter a number we read that number convert that number to int 32 and store that inside of the item so while it is true it will keep on doing that now what we need to do when we are here we need to call in the price list we need to call in the price list price list dot and then i know that i have a method there which says display price and this method it is very very important that it accepts an int item so what am i going to send inside there i'm going to send an item which item am i sending i have overridden this one when the user entered a number here so i'm sending this item inside of this and what will the display price do the display price will do what now will check here whether the number you have is within the boundary of the array very very important all right that it's fine and now let's try to run rerun our program and check And now I'm entering a number. Suppose I will enter a number 12. You must enter a number less than 4. Please re-enter item number. Enter a number. And then I enter maybe 90. You must enter a number less than 4. Please re-enter an item number. Enter a number. And I enter a number that is less than 4 and i enter a three the price is 45 run 89 but it keeps on saying enter a number it doesn't go out of the loop and say thank you so what could be the problem thing what could be the problem let's go and check now remember we had our catch here it is and then we ended our while loop and then when we exit we printed out this message so when there is an error that must have occurred we know that it will say you must enter a number that is less than four please re-enter item number this is exactly what we know so let us run this and check whether the logic fits into the coding that we have written i'm going to try and do this and now i'm going to enter the number six you must enter a number less than four which one is this so there was an error that occurred and then it was handled here you must enter a number less than four and then it will proceed to this uh, line uh, please re-enter item number are we fine this is very very important enter an item number and then look what is happening here after please re-enter an item number it goes back and say enter a number it goes back there 
right that is fine and then i will enter maybe uh three this time and then it says the price is 45 run 89 it now goes to tell me that uh the price check what is happening here we are here the price is this so it goes in here and it prints this message the price is 45 run 89 once it has done that once it has done that let's go to the program once it has executed this the price is that and then remember what we said now let me come here and let me just make this false and let me negate this shift exclamation okay there we have it so when i say is good item because it is false and i am saying while it is true now this is exactly what the exclamation uh, would mean right now let's try to run this code enter a number and i will just enter three the price is 45 run 89 thank you you see now everything is working just fine everything is working just fine so let's just check what is happening here is good is currently false when you say while is good is true so while it is the opposite of this this is exactly what you are saying you are saying while is good is the opposite of this so while it is true the op is good currently here you declared is good as false and then when you use the exclamation mark here you are saying while the opposite of this is true because the opposite of false is true it will go in here but if you make this true let me show you if you make this true and you are saying the opposite of is good currently is false and the opposite the opposite here is a false and now you have a problem because this is true and the opposite of this will be a false now let's try to run the code and check thank you you see it will never and ever enter in here it will go straight and execute that line of code why because when you negate this when you negate this you are saying this is false and if this is false it will not enter here because this is true you are negating is good it is set as true when you negate it you are saying it's false then it will not enter here but if this is false but if this is false and you are negating a false and you are making it a true therefore you are allowing it to enter inside of here guys this is very important when you negate this you are making this true and then it will enter because this is false but if you make this false and then you are negating this then it will not enter inside here this is very important that you understand so let's run this we know that we will enter in there let's enter a number maybe eight you must enter a number less than four please re-enter item number enter a number and then i will enter one and we will have the price it's 27 run 88 and then let's just go there and we can see that in position one we have a price of 27 run 88 and then it goes out and say thank you now the program is working just fine
let's just run this once again and then i can also enter a zero and the price is 15 around 99 so this is very important guys i hope you have understood the use of this negation the use of this you are negating this is false and when you are saying this is true then it will enter if you make this true and you are negating you are saying this is false it will not enter inside of here one most important thing and then one thing that you also have to note in here we are creating a class and then we are having a static double these are the prices and then public static we are having a method that accepts an argument and then it will take the number that you insert and then search for the price and then in here we are handling any errors that might occur on this price list class so thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next tutorial where we will be dealing with the tracing exceptions through this the call stack